there were many different works of art produced throughout the 1930s. What were some of these works? Who were the important artists of the era? One of the most iconic paintings of the 1930s is titled American Gothic, and it features a farmer and his wife. It was painted by Grant Wood in 1930. Wood and several others were associated with a painting style known as regionalism, in which they portrayed scenes from rural life. Other painters, like Edward Hopper, became famous for painting scenes of urban life. Unfortunately, not all artists could afford to support themselves through their work. The Great Depression had taken a great toll on the art community. With little extra income to spend, paintings and sculptures were considered luxuries. In 1935, the Federal Arts Project was created as part of the New Deal. Its primary goal was to employ out-of-work artists. In exchange, the artists provided art for government buildings. To this day, courthouses, schools, hospitals, and post offices display wall murals created as part of this program. Others were employed to design and create poster art for New Deal programs. The Federal Arts Project also employed sculptors and photographers. The Photographic Division took thousands of photos of contemporary life as well as pictures of WPA workers in action. Aside from this, the Federal Arts Project had another mission as well. The organization had an art teaching division which held classes to teach art. These artists taught nearly 8 million students and adults in schools and community centers across the nation. The Federal Arts Project existed until 1943. During that time, artists working for the organization produced more than 2,500 murals, 18,000 sculptures, and countless other pieces of artwork. At the height of its activity, it employed more than 5,000 artists, some of whom would go on to successful careers, including Jackson Pollock. Architecture took an artistic twist as well in the 1930s. Starting in 1925, a new, dramatic, sleek style of design was introduced in Paris. It became known as Art Deco. Before long, the Art Deco influence had spread across the Atlantic to America, and it could be seen everywhere. Buildings were not the only things being constructed with an Art Deco look. Everything from chairs, to telephones, radios, and even ashtrays were being viewed as pieces of art. Automobiles and trains also began to exhibit a more streamlined design that was influenced by Art Deco. The 1930s are long gone, but its art and architecture endure and will continue to influence artists for years to come.